What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now in this video we are doing a product review of the Echo Core Electronic Stethoscope. Now as many of you know, if you follow me on Facebook, I graduated from medical school and I'm going to be starting residency in the next week. And I got myself a bit of a graduation gift here and that's an electronic stethoscope. Uh, if you watch my channel and seen some of my other videos, you know that I love the physical exam and I also like the instruments that we use in the physical exam and what more of an iconic instrument than the stethoscope to be strongly associated with medicine and I just personally love using a stethoscope and listening to heart sounds, bowel sounds, whatever else have you, I just get excited. Um, so I did make um, other stethoscope review videos in the past. Um, in the past, you guys may have seen the review of this stethoscope, uh, the Lithman Cardiology 3, which I gave in like an unboxing about, and then I also made a video talking about um, how I liked it after using it for a bit. And I will say after four years of med school, I absolutely used, abused, threw around, alcohol, cavi wiped, put this stethoscope on everywhere I could on every patient and it's, you know, it looks brand new essentially still. It hardly even looks like it's been used. Um, it stood up perfectly. It's a solid instrument and it's just as good as I ever got the first day. Um, I have the simple diaphragm and the bell on this side so I can listen to different sounds, high and low frequency. Um, if you're interested about more of the details, watch that other YouTube video about the Lithman uh, review I did. I talk about that detail more uh, about the bell and the diaphragm and that to me was great you know I you know if you go into any hospital this is a stethoscope you'll see on almost every medical student resident fellow attending everyone pretty much has this stethoscope um, they might not have the black on black that to me I just thought was cool but this is what pretty much you'll see everyone have and the minority is going to be the electronic stethoscopes because they're still new to the world and people just like tradition and you know this is a safe thing to go to now I remember when I bought this a couple you know about five years ago uh, Lithman also made an electronic stethoscope and at the time it was and I think it still is double the price of the traditional cardiology 3 um, this I think goes for about like 150 or something and the electronic ones are about 300 um, I'm sure you can find you know twenty dollars here or there cheaper if you search the web a little bit more intensely but it was double the price and I really wanted to learn on a traditional diaphragm bell stethoscope with tubing and that's what I wanted to practice on. That's what I wanted to use in med school. And I'm super glad I did because I got to learn how to listen to a stethoscope. Uh, my friend actually bought the cardiol sorry, not the cardiology, the Lithman electronic stethoscope and you know he paid double the price and it had Bluetooth connectivity and I thought oh my god that's so cool I'm so jealous but then I got to play with it and it wasn't at all like this and I was so you know honestly I was let down I felt kind of bad for my friend that he bought that because it didn't have a traditional diaphragm like this it had it was like a big head and it had like a computer sensor and it had like a plastic covering like a diaphragm um, and that's not the traditional way of listening to heart sounds um, you know I'm sure Lithman has genius ideas as to why that works well I'm not going to argue it but it just I know I, I listened to it and I thought this isn't what mine sounds like and I like mine better um, perhaps I'm biased because I had used my stethoscope for a while and I had become accustomed to the hard sounds but at that time that electronic stethoscope by um Lithman I didn't find very exciting and I kept hearing a lot of ambient noise and moving around the stethoscope on someone's skin it just really bothered me and I was quite happy I got this so now that we're doing I would call this an upgrade. Um, it's the Eco Core, or the Echo Core, excuse me. And here is the box that it comes in. And I'm gonna tell you why I got this over other digital stethoscopes or electronic stethoscopes, as they're, you know, they're all called. And that's because at core, the Echo is like this. It's the same bell diaphragm tubing in your ear, except there's just an attachment here, which I'll show you in a moment, that makes it electronic. So you get the best of both worlds, I'm going to argue, of a traditional diaphragm bell tube stethoscope with an electronic component that just, you know, digitizes the audio. So here's the box that comes and let's take a look at it. Uh, blue, it says Echo, Echo Core, um, what do they write here? Stethoscope Intelligence, trademark, fancy, fancy. Um, and here they got a cool symbol of their stethoscope. This is the attachment thing going to your iPhone. Um, 
and here's just like stuff. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what are you gonna do? So let's go ahead and open this thing up and make sure it's in, yep, it's in the camera. All right, you go ahead and open it and this is what it looks like. Um, so this is the cover showing you that you gotta download the app and this is the attachment which I'm gonna take off but just before I do so you guys can see it, here it says, um, actually I'll just take, can I take it off? Yeah, okay, I'll put it like this, there you go. Um, so this is the Echo Core electronic stethoscope um, and as you can tell, and I kind of want to put, I'm just going to do it like this for a moment before I talk to you about what the buttons do, just to give you a side-by-side -side profile of what the Echo Core does, hey, you can see both, cool, and the Cardiology 3 does. Both have diaphragm, um, yeah, over here is the bell that you can attach to this. This is a pediatric diaphragm. Again, if you want to know more details about diaphragm, P diaphragms, bells, watch the other Lithman video. I talk about that in more detail. Um, so yeah, so diaphragm bells, tubing going into your ear, diaphragm bell, tubing going into your ear. The only thing is this is the special um, echo core attachment, I guess, that makes it electronic. And that's why I wanted this stethoscope. Um, it's not, you know, a full-on digital thing. It's still the traditional sounds that I'm going to hear. Um, I'm not going to lie, I already played with this before I did the unboxing, <laughs> so I already know what it sounds like. It's super cool. Um, and But, you know, when you put this in your ear, it sounds identical to how this sounds, and there's no difference. It's just this thing is put, you know, you pull it out, and it's like the same insertion point here for your bell and diaphragm, and you just put it around the electronic component and somehow via engineering magic I suppose um, don't ask me not an engineer it somehow converts the sound moving into electronic things that go into your iPhone and that's what I wanted I wanted my traditional bell diaphragm tube into the ear stethoscope with an electronic component to it so that's why I got super excited about the echo so it's pretty much just like the stethoscope I love here except now I get this cool attachment and just so you know uh, price point wise I gotta tell you because it's it's a fancy thing, you know, you gotta pay for nice stuff. Um, so you can do two things. You can buy the full setup like I did for, you know, it's about 300 bucks or 299 something. I don't know what the website says. Um, or you can just buy this for 199. Um, so I, being, you know, super excited for graduation, got the whole thing, didn't care. Um, but, you know, if you, you know, if I was, probably a little more conservative, like I sometimes probably should be. Um, I would just pay the $2.99, I guess, and I could just take this off and put this in between uh, my head attachment and my tubing, and then I would you know, pay 100 bucks less, but frankly, I wanted both in my collection. I wanted my traditional one I, I, you know, I got when I started med school, and I wanted this new one as well. So what does this thing look like? So it's just a stethoscope, like I said, um, with this cool attachment thing. Um, just, okay, just, I should tell you, weight-wise, um, actually all the weight pretty much comes from this very nice head. Uh, it's actually, that's pretty nice, wow. That, that's actually really high, uh, that's very high quality, cool. Um, so very nice uh, head here for the diaphragm. Um, the tubing is, yeah, it feels just like the cardiol, or was it the Lithman? Um, and you get this attachment. So what do you see on this attachment here? This is the on and off, which I'm going to say, whoever thought of this at Echo, good job. Look how easy it is to turn off and on. Now it's on. See the blue thing clicking? And now it's off. No, like, push a button thing. Yeah, like that. Uh, here is the, let me see if I can show you, plus, minus audio, so volume. Here is just the other side of the on and off. And that's all you got. And here you got a micro USB port for charging. Um, and that's it. I love it. So on and then audio up audio down blue light tell me what's going on uh, just so you know when you put the micro usb in here um, and you plug it in the indicator light will go from like yellow to green to let you know when it's fully charged um, and i personally don't i mean i should probably you guys can figure it out how long the battery lasts on this thing it's i haven't had a problem with it once so you know, don't worry about it. Um, I've actually only plugged it in probably one time since I got it, and I've been playing with it nonstop. So I'm sure if you look at the manual, they have some quoted thing about how long the battery lasts, but I'm just going to say with the amount that I've been nerding out on this thing and going up to everyone trying to record their hard sounds, it hasn't even shown a blemish of change in battery. So you should be fine with this you know, in the hospital setting, and you can charge it every now and then. So just like we said here, uh, yeah, so here's what it's been saying. Micro USB charging point port on here. LED indicator, volume up and down, and analog, so that's leave it off, and then turn it on becomes digital, but it's the same audio going through, it's just now this device is on to record. Um, so super cool stethoscope, um, 
let's see what else is in the box. Um, so this, I, oops, let me get that, hold on. And people say at Doc, oh, sorry, we're not professional. Okay, uh, okay, so here's the, um, the bell. So on this pediatric side, you can untwist like this. Make sure you guys can see. And then the pediatric diaphragm comes off and you can just screw on the bell. And I'm gonna say, I am gonna give whoever again thought of this engineering and the quality of this metal, good job. It is so rewarding to touch something that you, you know, because when you pay a lot of money for something, you honestly want your money's worth, I'm gonna, you know. Um, things that are well made, it screws on so nice, that's like very precision metal work. Thank you, you know, it's nice to know that when you pay for nice things, you actually get nice stuff. So I've already switched it, I will not be keeping that pediatric diaphragm on. Um, for someone who uses the, uh, the stethoscope in a more general fashion like I do, I am not going to ever be a cardiologist. As you know, I matched into neuro, so, you know, but for me this is much more fun. Um, you know, I like to have the bell because I can hear different sounds and I can use it like on the apex of the heart. Um, I can also use it in the abdomen to hear different uh, frequencies. So I am going to take off this pediatric diaphragm and permanently keep on that bell. Um, before I get into what's in here, here's this. You just get... Uh, just two more ear attachments. Uh, they look like they're a little bigger, I guess. Um, and here you get a uh, micro USB charging port and a USB thing. Uh, nothing too exciting. But, you know, it's good that they include these things. You'd be surprised. I've bought stuff over the years, and they don't even give you the cord, and they just tell you, you know, you should have stuff laying around the house. So it's nice that it's all included. And that is it, man. That is the Echo uh, Core elect Electronic stethoscope it's super awesome what i wanted to do was show you how it syncs up with the iphone app but to be frank you you know you you have to be very you know quiet to get very clear recordings um, that's not hard to do, but I am a one-man operation behind this camera, and I'm about a week away from residency, so I am going to leave it up to the Echo website. So check out the link below. They have really nice videos that, you know, I'm sure a whole team of people put together and edited um, that come out much cleaner than how I could do it for you. Um, I just feel like I'm going to botch up the video if I start showing you how to do this thing electronically. But I will tell you, here's how I feel about it. Um, so go on the Echo website. Um, I think they have a YouTube channel. Watch some of their videos. Watch how they you know, show you the interaction between the stethoscope and the iPhone. Just so you know, all you got to do is turn it on. The thing will turn blue like that. Let me get my phone to show you. You, you just turn it on, and it automatically will just sync with your iPhone. No big deal. It's super easy. And it connects instantaneously. I think it also asked me to turn on uh, Bluetooth. But it's super quick. Uh, once you turn it on once via Bluetooth, it gets it. Um, and you turn it on and it connects instantaneously and immediately the recordings will come up on the app. Um, that's where I want you guys to look at the videos on their website, check them out on YouTube, um, get a sense for what the videos look like. You know, I want you to see precision, well recorded, you know, audio of the, of the Echo Core in its prime. And that's what I did. I watched the videos and I was like, man, is this even useful? Is it good? One word summary. Oh, yeah, one. Oh, screw it. We'll do two. Hell yeah, it's good. Um, it is insane good. Um, I have used another stethoscope that's electronic, and a fellow had it when I was in the ICU. He let me play with it. I'm not going to say what company it's from, but as a hint, it's pretty much just a head and a earbud thing goes into it. That's great too, but you know, I think you know you can hear just fine. But their iPhone interface, I could not figure out when I was playing with the fellow's phone and his. This one, super easy to use. So I'm not trying to hate on other companies, but I'm just saying these people got the what is it like the operating system of their app to be very easy to use with the iPhone. Uh, and frankly, what I want to do is I want to slap this on my ear, turn this thing on, put it on the patient, and I just want to glance over at my phone. I don't want to be turning this off, clicking this, hitting 20 buttons. You know, that's just unrealistic. And that's where I think this company did really well. Their app just immediately connects and starts showing your recordings once you turn it on and open the app. No fussing around, no data setting. Um, they figured that out well. Very Apple-like. I'll give them credit for that. Very good job. 
Um, so I, you know, I think it's super awesome. I would watch those videos. Make the decision for yourself. Um, do you want that electronic component? Um, I think, you know, it's pretty awesome. Uh, some things that I have noticed, when I listen to playback, it, and I read this on the website before I bought it, they say it's much better to listen to the playback on, uh, on like earbuds into your iPhone than just a speaker. And I did notice that to be absolutely true. It does sound tremendously better. And no, you do not have to buy like super expensive Bose or Beats headphones. I use just the generic white ones that comes with the iPhone. So, you know, don't be wasting your money there. And I think it's, they're very accurate. You do hear the heart sounds much better. What's very cool is I went and I sat next to my friend who still has that Lithman electronic stethoscope. We both recorded our hearts and we listened to the audio and his, no offense to Lithman, did not sound that good. It was a bit artificial because if you ever use like these traditional stethoscopes, you know what heart sounds sound like. It's, you know, it's like clear, you're hearing the heart sound, you hear the S1, S2, it's beautiful. And then, you know, for his, when I was listening to it, I was like, man, what, this is like a different thing I have to become accustomed to. And frankly, I think there's so many physicians in the world using these traditional stethoscopes. Um, the new electronic ones are hard to hear. Then we listened to this audio and we put in the earbuds like the company had told us to. And it was very much, not perfect, you know, it's still digital. It was very much like listening to the cardiology in real life um, and that totally blew me away that in playback mode it was very much like what I was really hearing in the stethoscope and that you know may sound like a basic thing but trust me uh, there's lots of stethoscopes that don't do that well and I'm super impressed that they do it at what I would argue is a pretty like fair price point um, you know 200 bucks for this sounds like a lot of money and it is a lot of money but if you care about having that digital interface to your stethoscope I'd highly recommend it Last thing I want to say about the stethoscope, um, I did see this thing called live stream. Um, I saw the Echo website has it. It's like you can send the audio, I think, in real time to other people in different departments. Um, super cool future application of the stethoscope. I personally am too young to be really using that. I think, you know, if you're, or maybe I could use it, like, you know, I could put the stethoscope on a patient and I could, you know, send the audio over to my attending who's at his house or in a different department or whatever have you. Um, I think that's called live stream. So check that out. It's just a cool application. Um, I don't know that much about it. And then I just got an email because they were like, hey, you bought the stethoscope. Here's a cool thing we do. Um, and it does look pretty awesome. So overall, if I was going to rate this stethoscope out of 10, I'd give it a, well, let me tell you this. Lithium Cardiology, if I was going to rate that out of a 10, I would give that a solid 8. Um, it's a solid stethoscope. It's well priced. You can hear perfectly well. Um, there are nicer traditional stethoscopes than the Lithman Cardiology 3 out there. If you guys have ever seen some of the, like the Well Challenge that have three heads um, or some more advanced ones, there are more fancy things. So I would say Lithman Cardiology 3 at like 150 bucks coming in at a solid price point, 8 out of 10. So solid 8 out of 10, no questions asked. This thing, man, if I was going to get price point, it is, uh, what, 50? No, it's um, 300 with the whole thing. So double the price, the price of, I guess, Lithman, that's what they're probably matching. Um, price point, I got to give this thing a solid 9.5 out of 10. Um, I was going to give it a 10 out of 10, but I just feel like that's cheesy. Um, it's just a solid stethoscope, man. You can hear well, you can record well. It's super awesome. So 9.5, if you want, trick yourself into 10, but I just wanted to be more, you know, a little bit more critic, critical of what I'm saying, you know, just give some more enthusiasm here. But I'm sure they'll have better upgrades and cool things with their app in the future that'll make it a solid 10 out of 10. But for now, I got to say, it does beat the Lithman Cardiology. I love having the electronic interface. Um, watch the videos on their website about how the recording works on the app they can demonstrate it much better than i can um, hope you guys enjoyed this video link below for the echo core stethoscope check it out um, and as always guys enjoy your studies